In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python on your Windows 10 or 11 machine. Start by opening your browser and navigating to www.python.org. When the website loads, click the Downloads tab here. The website will know what operating system you're using and it will offer you a download button for the most recent stable release version of Python right here. But if for some reason you want a different version of Python, you can scroll down a little bit, select any one of these versions here and click the download link over here to the right. Now I'm just going to say go ahead and download the one that they are offering. Once the download completes, navigate to where the executable was downloaded and double click on it to run it. Once the window opens, click the checkbox down here that says add python.exe to path. This will allow us to run Python through the command prompt or through a terminal and then click install now. Give it one to two minutes to install depending on your hardware. After installation is complete and you see the setup was successful window, if this button right here that says disable path length limit is available, go ahead and click it. If this window pops up asking if you want to allow this app to make changes, click yes. This is so that if the path to your Python executable is longer than 260 characters, it still functions properly within the command prompt or terminals. And then you can click close. Now we want to double check to make sure that Python is successfully installed and we have access to it. So go to your search bar, type in CMD and open the command prompt. When the command prompt opens, type in Python space dash dash version and hit enter. And if Python was successfully installed, you will see Python in a version number here. If it did not work for some reason, you would get an error message saying that Python was not a recognized command. Now to actually open a Python terminal, we can just type Python by itself and hit enter. And this brings us into a Python terminal where we can type Python commands such as print. And when I run this, it'll output hello world to the console. And there you have it. Python is now successfully installed onto your machine. The next thing you're going to want to do is download an interactive development environment such as Visual Studio's code or PyCharm. In the next video, I will show you how to install Visual Studio code.